would talk about the future and I would tell him, hey, you ain't, I don't know why you're talking about this and that, you know, you're not going to make it. He would constantly say after a while that he was going to die, that he wasn't going to make it. Punk, get up, guys. Let's go. The way he actually, like, go from one place to another, he will rock. So he would start going like this. Yeah. He say, yo, he would, get his he would say, yo, move out the way, move out the way, <laughs> there I come. And he goes, whoa, so he went up the stairs. Bad fast. And then when he got there, he was like, <laughs> all right. And then he would look around and see like the most comfortable place to go sit down. And he would do the same thing, go, I'm ready. And we watching him, we like, wow, man, fun, like, you know, what's up? You know, you see the brother one like year and he's uh, X amount of pounds and then you see him the next year and he's just substantially heavier. I knew the nigga, you know what I'm saying, before he was even above 200 pounds. I'll never forget, he showed me a picture of him uh, when he was younger and he was ripped up like stock diesel, all modeled out, you know, all, you know, nice spiffed up. And I was like, dude, what happened? And he's like, I like to eat. <laughs> That nigga ordered everything on the fucking menu. I think he ordered like all the entrees and all the appetizers. This nigga ate everything he had. Then he started hitting everybody else's plate. He was like, P, you gonna finish that shrimp? Hey, yo, son, you gonna finish that? Like, this nigga was going at it, son. It got out of control. Joe would leave the studio sometimes and punt and order two buckets of KFC, like two, three bucks, and just try to eat them before Joe came. And Joe just showed him, like, yo, who's chicken at this punk? Like, I don't know. Thank <laughs> you.